Hi Sequels friends, today we are doing an unboxing. As you might be able to get a little sneak peek here, I have already peeked in it. And it's not just any unboxing, it is a Thread Up unboxing. So what Thread Up box is it? It is a tried and true men's box. Yes, I love men's boxes. They always sell through really quickly and I typically get some good new with tag stuff. So come on, let's see what I got in this box. Hi Sequels friends, welcome back to my channel. It is fantabulous to have you here today. Thank you so, so much for taking time out of your super busy schedule to tune in. If you happen to be new here, my name's Heather and I am a part-time reseller across various platforms and I love to document my journey on YouTube. So what does that consist of? Well, fun things like unboxings like we're doing today, all sorts of update recaps on previous unboxings I've done so you know whether I actually make the money I project that I'm going to make on it. I also love to do what sold videos and also give you guys tips and tricks that I'm learning along the way to help me with my reselling business in hopes that it will help you with yours. This is the men's mixed clothing box and it is the... There's three sizes. It is the second largest size. I'll put up here <laughs> how many pounds it is because I don't remember. Um, but Pat, future Heather will take care of it for us. <laughs> and it is the one that retails for $110. And I did spend exactly $110. No extra money for tax or for... Why can't I talk? No extra money for tax or for shipping. That's the word I'm looking for. Or for shipping this time. We are... Um, new with tag and the retail price is $36.99 and how fun are these oh and I do believe it's extra large it feels like an extra an XXL man this pair of pajama pants maybe maybe just lounge pants are hitting all the boxes Disney Star Wars and an extra large size and new with tag look at this cute print Stormtroopers and Yodas, and based on this, I'm guessing that this Yoda may glow in the dark. Elastic waist, drawstring, very cool. Those I think will move really well. This is just Croft and Barrow. Um, is that Belk, if I remember correctly? If it's something else, I'll pop up a correction on the screen. Um, it is a size large, just polyester. It has a bit of the flyaway at the back, so it makes me think kind of like it's a cool, a cooling shirt. It's very lightweight. I don't know if you could see through there, but it's almost like a, a waffly print. I'm not getting that on camera. And it's just a button up with a chest pocket, two chest pockets. Nike dry fit. So I have a weird reselling relationship with Nike because things either move really super duper quick for me or they sit forever. I have a Nike golf shirt that I've had forever for like $5 that nobody wants. Um, so I'm kind of intrigued to see how some of these things will do. He's gonna keep this one, but you will see there are definitely other Nike pieces in this box. Um, and this is the dry fit performance wear zip, long sleeve zip. There were also some shoes in this box. Last box I got shoes as well, um, and that had been the first time I've ever gotten shoes in the box. And there were three pairs of shoes in this box, and they look like they're good shoes. These are um, Adidas Otholite Float. Otholite Float leads me to believe that they have uh, cushioning in them. It does feel like there may be some memory foam in there. And then you also have to remember with Adidas and with a lot of these shoes, you can find on here a um, style number as well as the size so that you can easily look up that. These are in pretty um, darn good condition, I would say. Very little wear, just some on the bottom of the shoes as you would tend to expect. And a really um, nice everyday colorway and they are in a size now these I was very surprised by. I know that a lot of these Hawaiian brands um, sell for money, but these just seem like such basic canvas shoes. Um, they have no cushioning as is typical of some of these slip-on canvas shoes. And they have a little bit of a damask canvas upper, but these are Olukai. Is that how you pronounce it? Olukai? 
There you go. And again, in the it has the branding on the side, and in the um, inside of the tongue, it has the silhouette, which is oh, I'm gonna butcher it. I'm so I'm, I'm so sorry if there's any Hawaiian uh, people who can say this better. Um, Leahi pie. Leahi. Leahi pai. Leahi pai. I don't know. It says it in there. So that's the silhouette of the shoe. I did look them up. They are pretty good. Good treads. There is some, um, you know, stuff in there, but not too bad. These puppies retail for like $120, $130. And resale look like a lot of them were in the $40 to $60 range. So learn about a new brand every day. It looked like a brand that they sell at Orvis and some other high-end um, stores. So, you know, you can't always base things on looks, although a lot of times I do most of my thrifting based on quality. Oh, no, I don't usually look up comps when I'm in the store. One, I don't have patience for it. And two, typically I have to go all the way to the front of the store to get decent enough reception. I probably would have passed on those for sure. These are um, Nike. Look at these super cute old school kind of 80s silhouette. They are Nike Air. You guys know I know nothing about sneakers, but I am learning, and apparently I'm learning a lot with Nike lately. These are a size 10, and as always, they do have the item number in there, and these had a pretty decent resale value as well, although I only saw, I think, one pair out there for 50. I didn't see any that had sold, just one that was listed, but I didn't really see this colorway out there, so I'm kind of excited to see how these do, and again, Treads are fabulous. Condition is absolutely fabulous. So cute. I love them. Red and black with the um, contrasting white zipper is really nice. It is a very thick jersey knit. Um, nice color blocking. I'll definitely know if uh, anything, other things Nike for me sell since I have enough to choose from here. Okay, I can't get to anything that's all... This is Brooks Brothers. I'm intrigued I got this for men's because I recently had gotten a Brooks Brothers shirt, or I recently got a Brooks Brothers scarf in a recent Thread Up scarf box and was surprised to learn what the retail value on that was. So it'll be interesting to see for this. It does have a very classic pale yellow with an insignia and just a basic button down um, in an extra large, but it is the Supima cotton. La -de -da. For row. It's got inner pockets. It's a blazer if you haven't guessed yet. And like I said, it is new attack. Really pretty classic blazer with a really fun print on the inside. Fully lined. Very nice. They're I can't tell if there's a little bit of wear, even though it's new, or if it's just because um, um, it's the type of material. Let's see if it has designed in Italy. Oh, and the tag is um, for pounds. So whatever, 270 pounds to US dollars is. <laughs> Anyways, the quality on that looks good. These are Abercrombie. They are size 2830, the Rustin Athletic Slim. That is a pretty small size. So if we got some small, get smaller, this is a pretty um, a smaller scale size for men's, but you know, great because you can also tag it women's as well. And it looks like a pretty straight, maybe even a skinny leg. It said straight though, right? Athletic Slim, that would explain it. More Nike. These are a size small. I really like these. Great quality on their um, jersey. It looks like a crop. It doesn't say in there, but it looks, after pulling off those pants of these, it feels like a crop. And then it has um, a pocket, zip pocket right there. Nice pocket right there and your Nike logo. This is Banana Republic. Man, I gotta tell you, this feels cheap. 
this doesn't feel I mean like I know but banana is not the banana it was of my day um, I get that their quality that they outsource like everybody does and that their quality has gone down as most retailers have in favor of fast fashion but I gotta tell you I'm not really selling this shirt at all am I <laughs> I'm disappointed with the quality. If I didn't see that it said Banana Republic in it, I never would have thought. It is core temp. That might be why it doesn't have a very nice hand. Maybe it's one of those cooling shirts. I don't know. I'd have to do more research. But just a um, Henley. Henley tee. I always confuse Henley and Raglan sleeves. I don't know why. I mean, they're nothing similar, but I do. Here's another Banana Republic. It has that same, eh, not too exciting hand, but this also says core temp. It doesn't tell you much about the core temp on it, but I'm assuming it's some sort of athletic, you know, moisture wicking or something like this. It says um, $50.99, but under it, it looks like it says $64.50. Um, quarter zip pullover, nice color. It's a little bit more purple on screen, um, but it's kind of like that electric blue that's been real popular in athletic wear. Um, good old New Balance. These are a size, they say large. Um, lightning dry, just an athletic pant or um, short. An athletic short this is a brand I haven't heard of, 28 Palms. It is in an extra small woven button front Hawaiian print. Pretty palms and um, some hibiscus. And I think we even get a bird of paradise on there. Now the banana um, button down seems like a nicer quality. This is Banana Republic size medium. It is that no iron cotton. It is a slim fit. I've sold a few of these before. They do well. And look, it's a really cute kind of um, splattery print. I don't know. I like that uh, print is a little bit different than what you would normally see. This is super soft. J. Crew. J. Crew keeping the quality. Super duper soft flannel, and look, it has the elbow patches. Oh my God, I am in love. It's a medium. This one's perfect for Easter, church on Sunday. It is good old fashioned Joseph A. Bank. Uh, 15 and a half to 34, 100% cotton, the non-iron slim fit. And it is in a aqua plaid. Um, it reads kind of almost like a gingham, but there are some stripes through it. So it is technically a plaid. Another thing that's new with tag, GH Bass & Co. Um, new with tag and it does have the cooling the stretch the moisture wicking and the sunblock in it a heathered blue um just a short sleeve polo this is so cool it is adidas adios as i learned from my fellow reselling friends it is the prime blue it's in a size small, but it looks pretty big, so it must be oversized. This is so cool. It is a um, hoodie, and then it has this kind of blue and white splattery effect at the chest. Long sleeve, zip front, and it does have pockets, kangaroo pocket. Fairly basic dress shirt. Oh, but it's the Gap. The Gap merchandise doesn't move for much, but it tends to move fairly quickly. It is relaxed, a size extra large, and kind of like a tan brown. Just um, a button, button front. Armani Exchange. It's a zip front. It's heavy weight from the zipper right here. It is a zip front um, jersey knit long sleeve with pocket. 
This is Prana. I know this, but I don't know this. I know this name, but I don't know why I know it. If it's good, is it not good? They look almost like swim, maybe athletic. It doesn't have the thing in the inside. Um, just a basic, uh, or a basic, just a short, like an athletic short with a back pocket and an elastic waist. American Eagle, American Eagle jeans always seem to do very well, something that's worthwhile picking up in the wild. These are next level flex and I have sold these and they have moved fairly quickly. These are new with tag, which is exciting. They retail for $39.95, so I had hoped to get maybe $29 for them with new with tag. And they are a $29.32 really nice wash t-shirt makes me excited but this part doesn't this is just walmart 788 t-shirt but it is bubble rain prints that's what the tag is and it is a large it looks like a big large but it is walmart sizing I'd imagine somebody will want that, but I don't know if you're really gonna get any money for it if it's worth the while. Another new a tag and another Joseph A. Bank. Um, just a basic pullover, lightweight, almost like a career sweater and a really pretty electric blue. It says it retails for $100. It doesn't feel like it retails for $100, but I don't know how Joseph A. Bank pricing works if they run deep discount sales, but um, I've never sold any Joseph A. Bank, so that will be interesting to have two pieces. Just about done. These are some basic khakis. They are Club Room. Sounds like a house brand for a big box store. Not sure which one. 3430, very wearable size. Like I said, new with tag. Oh, here we go. Must be Macy's house brand. <laughs> Look at all the they look like they retail for 50 bucks. I'll probably take off this club room tag, leave this club room tag on, and try to get at least $25 for them. Here we got some ties. I got some ties last time. One out of the two sold, so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna waste my time with these. It says it's silk, but it doesn't have any like branding or anything on it. I'm not sure that'll be worth its while. I'll probably donate it. And if I look, I mean, they just throw these in because they they don't, not worth anything. Same thing in the Navy. This one is 100% um, silk too. It is Van Heusen. I mean, I'll look up comps on the branded ones, but I mean, again, I'm not really sure. I'm just not a tie selling person. This one has a nice hand to it. It's a viscose silk mix, and um, I didn't really show you that very well, um, but I do want to show you that it is Calvin Klein. This came from Marshalls at $14, but it says it compares at $28. I mean, if you could get $14 for it, that, that'd still be worth the list for me. And here's some more Adidas. Adios size 3030 and these are oh also new with tag the ultimate 365 pant this has a very performance golf wear pant feel and it looks like that these retail for 80 bucks so as always lots of good fun things in a men's i'm adding it to my pile here that's falling over <laughs> as always a lot of good exciting things um in this men's box i love men's boxes i don't know a ton about men's merchandise in general and this always helps me to learn more and helps give me things to look for when i'm out um thrifting let's pop up here um how much reminder of the 110 i paid for the box how many items I got in the box versus how many items I'm gonna list because my partner's probably gonna keep a couple and I'm probably not gonna list all of those ties. So we'll put here what I list and then that will then put down here what the current cost of goods are. So that's where we're at. Now let's talk about gross projections. Remember, gross projections are based on current comps. It doesn't mean that I'm exactly gonna get this price, but I hope to get at least the minimum of this low price here. And I do try to be a bit more conscious about not being so overzealous so that I can be sure that the low price is something I'd hit. I'd rather go over it than go under it. 
So here's where the gross projections are coming in at, and future Heather's gonna take care of that. I'm assuming it's really good and exciting, um, but I don't know. <laughs> Based on the looks of what came in this box, I do think that it has a lot of potential. What do you guys think? What do you think about the gross projections? What do you think about the quality of items that came in this box? You guys are the ones who encouraged me to go after trying men's boxes because you guys know that I like to get the most bang for my buck. If I'm gonna spend money on a mystery box, I do wanna make money back. And these boxes always do seem to make a decent amount of money. And as I said, they are awesome to teach you about new brands that are worthwhile for you to pick up. So what do you guys think? Pretty good one, huh? I think so. So feel free to leave your comments below. Let me know if you've tried a men's thread up box and whether you love them or hate them. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you soon with some more reselling content. Bye-bye. I'll give you an update on cost per item as well as my gross projections, um, which I don't know if you guys just saw on camera, but I just spit all over the place when I said projections as well as my gross projections.